Now we are going to continue with the pictures in the album that is dedicated to Conchita. Here is Conchita coming out of an ecstasy. Here are three of the girls. Mari Cruz is not here, but here is Jacinta, Loli, and Conchita in the middle. They are at the church doors in ecstasy. The church doors were closed. They were in ecstasy August 23, 1961. I was taking care of the parish that day. A notification came from the commission in Santander that said to shut the doors of the church when the girls were in ecstasy. The reason for this was that people would enter the church and break the pews and climb upon the pulpit. Things had been broken. So in order to prevent the commotion that the ecstasies caused inside the church, they ordered the church to be closed. I was inside the church after the rosary around 8.30 at night. After praying the rosary, the girls left the church and then went into ecstasy and walked through the town. They walked through the roads about three times with the people walking behind them. I was in the church waiting to see if the girls were going to come so I would be ready to close the doors. I realized that they were coming because I heard the rocks moving under the people's feet. It was night, so that was how I realized the girls were close by. I closed the doors of the church. I stood in front by the door of the church. Two of the girls came, this one and this one, Jacinta and Mary Loli. The girls did not know the church doors had been closed because only three people knew. The priests in the commission who had given the order, Father Valentini, who was in Santander, notifying the bishop of the events that had occurred in the past few days, Father Andreu, and myself. We were the only ones who knew about the order to close the doors of the church when the girls were in ecstasy. Loli said, Why are you closing the doors of the church on us? We did not come to do anything bad inside the church. If you do not open the doors for us, we will not enter again. The girls could not hear me, but I told a woman that I was fulfilling an order I had received from the commission. This woman told me that I was doing the right thing because I was doing my job. The girls did not know anything about this. From then on, they did not enter the church again when they were in ecstasy, even when the doors were open. This photograph of Conchita was taken by a brother of St. John of God who was going to begin the spiritual exercises that same day in Theloria. This is written in the memoirs. This is an invisible communion that the angel gave in front of the church door. The church was closed. The angel is giving it to the child. It was around 2 or 2.30 in the morning. This is another ecstasy, and one can see she is making the sign of the cross. This is the same photograph that we saw before, but this was taken by another person. I took this photograph. Here are Conchita and Mari Cruz at the Virgin's tree. Here is Conchita with a doll when she was 12 years old. We have already seen this photograph. These are photographs of the last ecstasy the child had on June 18, 1965. Not the last, but it was the anniversary of the miracle of the visible communion that Conchita received in the road.
This is Conchita's cousin, Lucia, who is here praying in the pews of the church. This is the hearth in Conchita's kitchen, but the kitchen is no longer arranged this way. Here Conchita and Loli are praying, and here is another picture of them praying under the pines. You can see it was raining because of the umbrellas. This is Mrs. Mercedes Salasax, who also wrote something about the girls. The picture should be turned this way with her head facing downward. She is making the sign of the cross. Here is a picture of Father Lafanur and Conchita. Conchita and Father Lafanur in Vara. This is the church in Vara. She had gone to Vara with Father Andreu, who was preaching about a novena, and went to visit Father Ratnaga. Luis Ratnaga believed in the events that took place in Garbendel then. But he does not believe in them now. This is Conchita's cousin, Lucia. This is Father Andreu. Father Lafanur is not in the photograph because he is the one taking the picture. Father Lafanur is also a very important person with regard to the events that took place at Garbendel because he helped to diffuse the messages that were sent by the Most Holy Virgin in Garbendel. He wrote books in French, and I wrote memorias. 